Hey everybody, it's your girl Mimi of Mimi's Mocha Treats, and today I am going to show you how I created this realistic foot wearing a Birkenstock sandal. Now listen, I live for hot, sunny summer days, and a clear sign that summer is right around the corner is spring, baby. Now this is when my entire mood changes, I actually leave my house daily and I pull out all of my favorite sandals and toe rings. <laughs> now, as a bona fide summer baby, this is the most wonderful time of the year. Now, let's get back to this cake. I started with one 9 by 13 cake layer and carved out a shoe shape. I then took the cutout pieces and started building the basic shape of a foot. Now, you will see that I also had my anatomy books close at hand for reference as I wanted to create a foot that looks as realistic as possible. I mean, I went as far as making sure that I incorporated the, I'm going to say these words and please don't laugh at me, the medial malioni. Latin was not my first language, baby. And this is actually part of the tibia, which is the inside portion of your foot. Now, I also included a uh, lateral Malios, mali, malilos, which is part of the fibula, which is the exterior bone of your foot. I also made sure to incorporate an Achilles tendon, which I then later like refined, took away some of the, the thickness of, just to make sure that it looked as realistic as possible. Okay, now I am refining the foot and I'm making sure that I add enough modeling chocolate to show the toes. Um, I wanted to make sure they were at the right length. Um, and as you'll see, I'm having to use a sculpting scraping tool. I don't know the technical terms for them, but for some odd reason, my cake space was extremely cold. Um, so that caused my modeling chocolate to really, really harden. Um, so I wasn't able to take away as much as I wanted to with just using my fingers. So I had to use one of these scraping tools and again I do not know the correct terminology for them um, I went through and made sure that I cut in between the toes so that you were able to clearly see each toe individually and then I took some additional modeling chocolate and added some more bone structure um, so you can sort of see like the ligaments that connect your um, toes together um, and then now I'm adding additional padding to the top of the foot because the way you're um, your toes, when they connect to the upper portion of your foot, it's not a flat space, it slopes up. So I wanted to make sure that I included that as well. Okay, so now you'll see that I am pulling out my white modeling chocolate to create the plantar fascia, which is the surface of the foot. Now this, the padding underneath your foot actually connects your heel bone to the base of your toes. So I didn't want the foot to look flat. I want it to look round and actually very realistic. So I added this additional modeling chocolate to the outside section. I didn't really focus on the middle section as much. And now I'm taking one of my tools to really, really smooth out and blend the white chocolate to the brown chocolate. Um, just so I can make sure that it's smooth. There are no cracks and no scrapes. And then now it's the fun part. I am actually adding toenails. <laughs> now, uh, when it comes down to me and, you know, decorating toes, toenails, um, I'm not an expert. Okay, so if anyone is out here as a nail artist, please do not come for me. Do not tell me that I didn't use the right brushes. I literally was just winging it, trying to cr come up with a design that I thought would be cute to add to this cake. Okay, now you'll see that I'm going with my um, smoothing tools to really, really refine the surface of the cake. And then I'm adding the knuckles to the joint. So I don't have my anatomy book in front of me right now. I forgot to write this down, but I'm trying to add more depth and dimension to the toes, trying to show the various joints that are actually on everybody's foot. Um, so I'm going through with my smoothers and then the fun part, painting. Okay, so I actually started with the sole of the foot. And what I did is I started with an underlying layer, underlaying, under, underlay of pink. Again, because I'm focusing on African-American skin tones, you have to build the color up. And as you know, the sole of your foot 
is a different shade than your the actual upper side of your foot, okay? So I started with some pinks and then I'm gonna go back through and add some browns and some greens to tone down that pink and to make sure it blends in perfectly with the upper layer of your foot. Um, and the same thing, I'm going now with some darker brown and I'm blending it in so make sure that everything has a very smooth transition. Okay, to add an additional dimension and to really clearly define all the parts of the foot, I'm going in with some brown that is mixed with some blue to do the shading. Um, I'm going in between the toes, I'm going around the Achilles tendon, and I'm going around that uh, medial maliona and that lateral maliosis um, to clearly define them so that they stick out more. Um, then you'll also see that I'm using that same color to add additional shadings to the lower portions of the foot and keeping the high portions um, at the tone that it was already at. Now it's time to start really, really adding details. So I'm taking some fondant, rolling it really thin, and then combining them rope into a rope shape to create an anklet. Um, and then I also wanted to add a toe ring. Yes, I did, because one thing Mimi is gonna do during the summer months is sport a really cute toe ring. Um, so I'm going through and I'm using my Edible Gold Luster Dust. Um, I actually took one of my tools and added some texture to the toe, toe ring um, so it could stand out more. And then here I'm also adding that same gold luster to the anklet um, to make it stand out some more. Okay, all you nail techs out there, please <laughs> just show me a little bit of grace, okay? Just a little bit of grace. Um, I'm going through and I started with a pink hue to add to the toenails. And then I took a detail brush and did these swoopy motions and using white and a darker pink. And then I went back with my dotting tool and added some little dots to the nails, you know, just to give it something, right? I was initially gonna just go with white toenails and I was like, no, because I never wear white toenails. All right, so now I have to create the sandals. So I actually went and took two seven inch square cakes, combined them together to get the shape of the foot, um, shape of the, sh the sandal that I wanted. And as you see here, I'm scooping out some of the cake um, to make sure that I have enough space for the sculpted foot to sit in it. I didn't want it just, I didn't want to just place it on top because that doesn't look realistic, right? When you wear your Birkenstocks or your sandals, your feet actually sink into the shoe. So here I'm taking the foot, making sure that it's all lined up, making sure that it's deep enough. And then I'm going through and just fine tuning the sculpt on the outside. Um, you, I did not record it, but I did actually cover the entire cake and ganache. And now I am adding fondant. Now, looking back, I probably should have used green fondant since I wanted a green shoe. But I'm on this painting kick, right? I'm like, hey, I wanna paint some more with edible gel colors, and, you know, sort of push my limits a little bit, try something new and, you know, if it, go, if it works well, it works well. And if not, it's a lesson that you've learned. So now looking back, do I wish I would have just colored the fondant green and then covered the foot, the shoe with it and then went back with the paints and added dimension? Absolutely. But it's a learning lesson, okay? Now, some of you may be asking, Mimi, why green? Well, if you know me, and a lot of you don't, but Green is my favorite color. Like hands down, any shade of green makes me happy. That's probably why I love Grogu from The Mandalorian so much. I mean, I have green thermoses, my car is green. Um, my All of my Yetis are green, uh, green all day, every day. Um, so I definitely wanted to make sure that I incorporate the color into this design. And for me, green just means happy, joy, joy. And that's exactly how I feel during the spring and summer months. All right, everybody, we're getting close to the end of this cake tutorial or cake lesson. And I hope you all have learned a little something. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, 
hey, let me know in the comments below what other cakes would you like to see me create? Um, I enjoy creating realistic cakes, and so I would gladly welcome any suggestions by my followers. And with that, I want to thank you so much for taking out the time to watch my videos. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and liking and sharing this video. And as always, I want to say thank you, and I hope you all have an amazingly sweet day.